Oh, with that, with that kind of background, Alan, digital marketing, your unique business approach. What what is it that you set out digital facilitators to achieve? This is probably going to burn a few bridges, but essentially, that um, over the last fifteen years, I've seen a lot of rogue agencies taking advantage of different businesses, different various sizes. B two B, B two C, D two C, UK, European wide, international, and I was just basically sick of it. Of the whole point is to help the business grow, and companies are saying like, "Look, I don't want to move to another agency. I've been burnt four times, wasted tens of thousands of pounds. My business went under. I have to start a new one." Various various different things I've been I've been, I've been told. So the digital facilitators is basically being set up to help prevent that. People can come to me completely free of charge. I'll do a full scope of the work that they need, put them in touch with the relevant people that will help them grow their business, whether it's online or offline, uh, while it's not getting burnt. That's that's the ethos. We literally just want to help businesses grow from the ground up, whether you're a startup, scale up, enterprise, it really doesn't matter to us. We will help as many businesses as possible to make the right choices when it comes to choosing the right agencies or tech partners in the market. I love people who have a passion behind what they do, Alan. Um, and I think you. you can you can see the difference in the businesses that are there for there's a there's a, a great good that underlies the businesses and yes we've all got to kind of make money in order to pay the bills but how you go about that and the, and the way in which you pursue that very much speaks volumes about the the people that you work with do you find that marketing agencies themselves do a lot of referral work the right way or do you find that like the way that the system is built up does doesn't do them a favor if that makes sense yeah, it makes total sense. I think it's a case where it really depends on the size of the agency and the targets and whatnot. So you'll have agencies that will spend a lot of money on the marketing, a lot of money on the event, and they just want to get as much new acquisitions as possible, where there's a lot of then what I'd call unqualified out leads, the RFPs that didn't come to fruition, just sitting there. 